Hi, my name is Andrew Fairley. Um, I'm chef proprietor of restaurant Andrew Fairley. So we're going to cook today two dishes from our actual a la carte menu at the moment. As you see when you come in, it's kind of it's winter, it's cold outside. Um, great believer in, as as we all should be, in kind of seasonal 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 menus. So we're going to cook today a sep tart with roasted sweetbreads and a roasted tronçon of halibut with snails and barley with um, parsley butter. Uh, this is my head chef, Steve McLaughlin. Hello, morning. Okay, this is James. James is our uh, chef de party on garnish at the moment. This is Ian, and Ian's uh, again chef de party here. Well, first of all, I'm going to prepare the base for the, for the tart. It's quite simply filo pastry, which we're then going to brush with melted butter. We're then going to season that with some chopped thyme leaves and some very fine shavings of parmesan. Second sheet of filo on the top. We're then going to cut that out into a disc, cook it in between two silpat mats, 180 degrees for eight minutes exactly. And that's going to form the base for our, for our tart. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to warm the duke cell or the chopped mushrooms up. What we have here is some pig's trotters, which we've cooked for about three hours just in a cool bouillon. James has got a little pan which he's just added a little light olive oil into. Now what we're going to do is basically got half a set mushroom here. We're just going to roast that in there till it's nice and nutty, nice golden brown. Okay James? Okay, so for the mushroom duke cell, what we've got here is basically it's just some chicken stock, which we've just added a couple of tablespoons of cream to and a little bit of butter. That's been boiled together, blitzed, and that's what we use an emulsion, we call it an emulsion. We use that quite often during the, um, our service for reheating vegetables and exactly for things like this. And basically this just gives a kind of meaty, meaty texture and a meaty flavor to the, to the mushrooms. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got some calf sweetbreads. We use these for a number of different things. Uh, in this case here, we're just going to cut them off into little nuggets. So what I've done here, the preparation so far, is the sweetbreads, we've just soaked them overnight under cold running water, basically just to degorge any blood that's in there. Um, we then blanch them very quickly, boil in salted water with a little bit of lemon juice in them. We then plunge them into ice water and basically all we've done is taken the skin and the fat off it so we have a clean sweetbread like that. Okay, so for the cooking of the sweetbread for this dish, so we've got one of the nuggets of sweetbread that we, that we trimmed earlier on. We've just got cast iron pan, hot, again a very light um, peanut oil. So we've just put the nugget of sweetbread into there, salt, pepper, sweetbread in, and that literally is going to take about four or five minutes to cook. So we want it nice and glazed and crispy on the outside, but nice and pink and creamy on the inside. If I myself was eating it, what would I want out of a dish? And I think really that's the way, I think that's where the kind of personality of the kitchen and the chef comes in. You kind of have to look at something and think, would I want to eat that? Would I want to pay for it? And would I be satisfied at the end of it? A very kind of welcoming environment, it's a very warm environment. Um, so I think in terms of that's what we wanted to produce when we first arrived at Glen Eagles, we wanted to have a quality-led restaurant from top to bottom. The second dish that we're going to do is a roasted tronçon of halibut with um, fresh snails and braised barley. So basically all we've done is removed the head and then with a pair of scissors we've just cut up either side of the backbone and remove the backbone out and this is an easy way for us to present fish in the restaurant with the bone still in it. And what we have here, we've got some live snails. We're going to blanch them, we're going to remove them from the shell. And then we're going to put them into a core bouillon and then cook them very slowly for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Now all we're going to do with the, the barley is we're going to put it in a pan. We're going to cook it for a couple of minutes in some butter. We're going to put some chicken stock over it and what I've got in here is a, is a large bouquet garni. I've got some thyme, some parsley stalks, and some leek. I'm just going to put that into the middle of the barley. Again, cartouche on the top of it. And I'm going to simmer that gently for about 45 minutes. So first of all, I want to show you how we're going to make this butter. Pack of jet container. All I've got in there is some roughly chopped curly parsley, as I said, some butter, some lemon juice, some ground almonds, some mustard. 
So that's still got everything ready. So if we just come over to the stove now, we'll just start to finish the garnish and then assemble the dish. Right, Jamesy. Okay, so in order to, to finish the dish, what we have here is, that's a cooked barley. So that's been cooked in the chicken stock. The snails that have been poached in the cour bouillon are parsley, butter. We've got some uh, blanched uh, baby or cocktail onions here. We've got some roasted hazelnuts, some garlic salt, and some freshly chopped parsley. Okay, so garnish is all ready to go. So what we've got here is, again, some light olive oil, pan nice and hot, ready for a transfer. Now what, what Ian's done here is basically he's just put a string round it, not tied it in a knot, basically just to keep the nice shape um, from the halibut so it stops the fillets opening out. The reason we do that is it cooks much more evenly. If the fish was straight out the fridge and we pan fried it, we would get the colour on the outside that we desire, but in the middle the fish would still be stone cold. You see the fish is just a little bit pink in the middle. Now that is going to, when that rests, by the time you get that on the plate and that gets to the restaurant, that should be perfectly cooked in the middle. This is where the guys, they actually need to understand the technique of cooking fish properly. It's a very, very difficult thing to do. And importantly for us, it's sustainability of, of fish. Um, it's hugely important now, you just can't ignore it. Uh, as a product, it's a, it's a fantastic, um, fantastic piece of fish. fish. Beauty. And then what we're going to do to finish this dish is we've got a, a roasted garlic um, foam, if you like. So all we've done here is we've taken whole bulbs of garlic, we've roasted them till they're really, really soft, we've pureed them, and then we've just put some milk into it with some salt, and we're just going to, with the bay mix, just whiz it up till we get a, it's like a sweet garlic milk, if you like. Chefs have to learn how to taste food. Seasoning is hugely, hugely important, and it is actually a, a learned thing. In terms of eating a dish like that, the seasoning might be fine. By the time you get to your third, fourth, especially in a tasting menu, by the time you get to seven, eight, nine courses, the seasoning has to be balanced. And I think that's why it's important that the guys taste everything that they cook um, and understand the seasoning in terms of a whole meal, not just one particular dish. We've got a successful business, uh, we're happy, we're not too stressed out, then we'll just continue to do what we're doing and, and see where it takes us.